Welcome back everybody. So some Daisy editor work tonight. We are wiping the server and going live with a new server in the next sort of 24 hours time. So I need to get things in place. So we need to do a quick edit of the map today. Uh, Daisy editor, no, not that one. Lied. Daisy editor, we need that one. And associated mods and then we need the map that we're going to be using which is Pacific Northwest so we're going to go for that one there those selected mods right let's get that played let's get into the map we'll have a quick look at it and I'll give you my idea what I'm going to do remember I'm not the most experienced person in editor I'm learning as I go but we're getting better at it all the time Hope everyone's all right out there in internet land. Take that light off. Okay, so into editor, open editor, choose the map you're going to use, select, and it will load you into that ba base map. So first of all, as per normal, I need to hide debug because we have no interest in it. So we need to get down south. I don't know the map massively well yet. There's some debug we need to get rid of. So. so we need to get rid of that line there. That corner. And then down here, edge of debug is about there. Okay, so not massive amount to get rid of. It's a smaller map. It's 10 case by 10 case. And there's a lot of work we can do as I wanna. So let's. And then we've got to build a trader, and we've got to stick in an oil rig. So let's get ourselves up past the airfield and the. Yeah, if you're going to meet, uh, the power plant because this wall will be the easiest one to do go to that corner going to leave those two islands in obviously because that's where we have the joy of fallout <laughs> now from experience the last time we did this edit when I put the items outside of the map it just caused issues didn't all appear so we'll go for a line inside so first thing to do, oh no, first thing to do, go that way, space, and we search for some rocks. Oh, I just want rock, because I want one of the really big ones. There we go, and we're gonna put that in. Now, we're gonna make life easier for ourselves. We're gonna right click on that, we're gonna go into properties, and we're gonna change its scale. Hmm. That might work. Let's drop down to five to, to start with. See how that looks. It's a good height. People aren't going to be able to see over it because we're not going to have helis on our server. Happy with that. So, let's get that into position. A little bit out of the first one. fly over the top if we can get it lined up it'll make life a lot easier I'm not going to have it at that height obviously we'll page it down Doo -doo 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 -doo. And because we're wiping tomorrow, basically the server we had was getting an averages of 10 players and it's dropped down to an average of two players in 24 hours. So things are ready for a, a mix up and change. Okay, I can 
do is just getting that angled up better. So right click properties, throw that over to the side. That's up and down or back and forth. That's, there we are, swinging out to an angle. That's good. Sink it in a little bit. Don't need to get any angles there. Okay, okay on that one. Come in. I'm going to sink that in. So we're highlighting it. Page down. Put it inside the earth itself. And we want to move it this way a little bit. Just so it covers up. Bang, bang, bang. Okay, first piece in place. It's in the water. Yeah, people can swim around it. But that's life. You'd expect. I'd hope the players wouldn't. Happy with that. Okay, so. Copy. Paste. And move it into line. Nicely lined up. Shift copy them both, control C, control V. When we used to place these all individually and, and, and line them in, doing it this way is a lot quicker. Yeah, put it inside. Go. Move up a bit. Control C. Control V. There we are. Over it goes. I'm no fan of debug, as you know. It always jumps. I don't know how to do that individually better, but we'll learn that in time. So let's delete them out. Bang. Control V. Let's grab that as a wanna. Okay, delete that out. Let's get closer to the earth and do that. Hi there, Robert. How are you? It's evening for me, but afternoon for you. But good afternoon. So, I want it about there. Fine, we can grip that too. No, it's not working. I'm sure there's easier ways of doing this, but for me it's a learning phase. I don't like debug on maps. I don't like things stuck in the air either. Bang. Here we go. So. Let's do copy. down and drop that down pick it up 
Okay, no problem. But thank you for being here. It's always appreciated. Pick that in. Drop that in. Yep, so I'm no fan of debug. Um, players just end up going inside it. It causes problems for the server. Take those to there. Control C. See if we can get this lined up slightly better this time. Bring me in closer to the earth. Want it about there. That's better. Take that out. Bring it along. Bring it up and across. I need to make sure that we're still within boundary. That's good. Now, if we go along this way. Out there. And then start coming in from this side. We can line things up better. Keep them still within the woods so it's still within the map and it should then all form. And this is the nightmare bit. Once we've done the debug area and then put some points of interest on it, once we've got the wall built, then we can build the trader and put the oil rig in. So we can see there that the land goes up here a level. Now, is that going to be anything important? No, that's just water. That's fine. So we might have to do some tidying up as we go along, but we can fly over and do that in us afterwards. So, and this covers up the road as well, which is nice. There we go. Get that nice and low to the ground. About there. There we go. Bring myself up a bit. Take that over. Drop that in. Happy with that. And we're nearly, you know, we, 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 we've come along more than 5Ks already, nearly. You know, we're coming along massively quickly. As I said, the map's not massive. It's only a 30-slot server we're building this for. go back out we come make sure it's lined up sink it in job done move along the corners there you see the map isn't very big as I said it's, but it feels big enough when you're playing it Lots to see and do. Sink it in a little bit. Job done. further okay there's something in there just a house a pub try and miss that out so we don't get a problem there let's take the last lot Not that one that one that, that one delete that one out We'll bring a single one in, different colour. Put that about there. Take rid of that one. That one there, properties. Come on, game. Properties. Better. We will turn that five times. There we go. About 
there. Sink it in. Come over a little bit. There. Control V. Bang. Sink that in. Make sure it's all within the map. There we go. If we've still got the house in there, if we haven't, we just have. So let's take those four, take them to there. That gets in what I need to get in. Happy with that. So this is what the players will see. So debug is gone, basically. what we wanted so let's move along soon getting into the corner uh, we do have to find somewhere to put the trader in so that will be something else we have to look at no other properties here to worry about let's save while we're here uh, Pacific Northwest build save ok bang with that little f farmstead there rubbish dump small well or river pond somewhere for people to potentially live so again we need to put in something up to that corner Bang, control D. So let's take it so this goes right inside. with that sink it in there we go one debug wall dealt with one more to go save so same thing again start off about here I'm guessing Five times, or should we go six times this time? We'll go six times and we'll bring it out to about there. Sink it in. Job done. Take that one, copy, paste. Hi Irish, the goblin is in God state. I'm on Pacific Northwest, mate, building the map ready for tomorrow. Take that one down. I need to drop that one in a little bit. So I'm hiding debug, basically. Because I don't like seeing debugging games. We know that. I hate that. I hate it when maps have a debug. So we are hiding debug. So we're going to take those two. We're going to copy those. Control C. We're going to come down again. We'll do as we did before. We'll take ourselves into debug. 
So when we place them, we can make sure it's within the woods. And we still get that town in. Or village. Control V. And we're just going to bring it where we want it. And we're going to sink it into the earth a little bit. And then we're going to move on. About there. Control V. Take it where we need to take it. Push it into the other rock. So we don't have a gap. There we go. Page down. Takes it into the earth. So there's no gaps underneath. Now check that we can still get into the housing. Okay, so that property there is built into the rock. That won't look right. Select that one. Take that out a bit. Pop it in. Nicely done. No debug issues to worry about. Come back outside. Now we need to go at a different angle because obviously we don't want people not to be able to get to here. So we're going to go for a single rock. We'll go for something a little bit different. And you're like thinking, it's at a really weird angle, it's not very big. So right click, properties, scale, five times, now nah, let's go for 20 times, there we go. That's fine, and then we can properties that one, get the angle right, because we want to swing this at a different angle, lower it in, fine, that's okay, okay, that one there, there we go. Swing it that way, and then page it down. Make sure it sits right. If you think you're about that height, you're not going to be able to climb up there easily. Yes, you could build a base that looked over the top, but you could do that anywhere. That's fine. So now we're going to take we're going to take a copy of that one. Paste that in. And we know that was on the other one, so we're going to properties on that one. Uh, take that to zero. Zero, that'll do. Okay, select that one and then drag it into about here. I need to get it inside the tree line. So it's inside the tree line. We're now going to bring it across. I want it clipping inside that rock and sink it in. Okay, I'm going to check that from the other side. So obviously we don't want to lose that military camp, so we need to get the Okay, that might be difficult, so we're gonna to have to think about this. We come this way. Take the angle out a little bit further. There. So it misses that place. And then take it. That way. No way underneath it. Misses out that. That's good. Let's take probably that one. That one there. We'll copy that one. There we 
go. Put it inside that there. Sink it in. Job done. So that's a there will be a way through debug there. So we need to cover that up. No, let's take. Oh, and it's frozen on me. Give me a second, it will crash, and when we come back in, we'll be able to sort it. There we are. And quick crash. Yeah, I know you're not happy. And we'll play again. Select the map. Select. It's a virgin map, so we're going to open my build. Open. Brought us to here. Ah, oh, okay. So let's go off and do something else for a moment. Don't have that much further to go, but let's go and have a look at something else. So I wanted to put an oil rig in. We know that. So where are we going to put the oil rig? Somewhere where players have to swim out to it. But not too far offshore. So that's... So... I haven't built an oil rig before, but there is a oil rig out there that the developer is happy for anyone to use, and it's made for Chinaris. So, with my thinking head on, I thought to myself, if I load that oil rig into the coordinates for Chinaris, I can then copy it and paste it where I want it. And it works. So I'll show you what I mean. So it's made to work on PC or Xbox. Um, that island's looking actually quite useful. We might be able to use that for a trader. Who knows? Um, there's no bunker in there, is there? No. So, let's pick a point for our oil rig. debug over there which we don't want mind about it's quite a swim out anyway so that's that military camp so a lot of servers have an oil rig here um, just gonna find what I'm looking for give me a second so we come along here this is where one of the bunkers is, if I remember rightly. So past the bridge. Somewhere along here, isn't it? Go along there, go along there, go along there. Got to work out where we are. We come up here. Here we can pass the ponds. Got the lighthouse there. That prison island there. Do 
too far, but I don't want to go across. Maybe I'm in the wrong place. That is prison. Yeah. We know there's a bunker underneath prison. There is, you say? Yeah. Somewhere underneath prison. There we go. Look at that little bunker underneath the prison. Who'd have thought? So, I'm looking for the small military camp. As I said, I don't know the map massively well yet. might be easier to find where we live because we went fishing from where we live which so we we play myself and cookie play a version of this map anyway um, okay so back this way not that far oh, come on let's bring myself right out We live. We live in that barn there, on the server we play. We have our house inside here. And we came out of here, and we ran to get fish up here. Here. Yeah, because we came along here. Pass that lot. And we ran directly to the water. We have to fish to get because in the first couple of days we needed food, and the easiest way of getting it was fishing. And I thought we were fishing here, and that's when I found the bunker. Maybe I'm mistaken. Right, okay, we'll say that I'm mistaken. So, where are we going to put oil rig? Nice point of interest in here somewhere. What do you reckon? Uh, that island is normally contaminated, so let's move it slightly away from contaminated zone. Don't really want it next to the prison because prison is one of the starting areas. So I don't want people to be able to get geared too easily. debug for miles out there so that's a good place for it let's stick the oil rig in here okay so how do we add an oil rig so this will be fun um, need to save this for sure then I need to let's remember how to do this now I can't add it to it might have done this the wrong way round. Might have needed to add the oil rig first, but there's a way of doing that. Give me a second, I need to build a file. Uh, go into C drive. 
uh, we will go in to documents daisy daisy editor and we will copy the p build we'll copy that copy that we'll paste it and we will call that properties get rid of the word copy and we'll call it Pacific Northwest Oil. Oil dot D Z E. So now we have a save file that we can use for the oil rig. There we go, that's good. So now file open. No. Cancel file. Import import and I want to import a init C file I believe no object smaller JSON and that's that one there import now that's put that somewhere that we don't care about we're going to copy that then we're going to delete that because we've still got it copied decide where we're going to put it there we have an oil rig our first oil rig sure it's not right, we we'll sink that one in a bit further the water's not very deep make sure there's still a way up there is second so it goes from Starts with land tank big. Was that low enough in? No, those need to be underwater. sink it in. I didn't get everything I wanted. Okay, we're going to delete that out.
var igen. Get ourselves the height we want. So we can test it all better. It has to be the way up there and then sink it in that we're happy with okay so I'm happy with that one Go back and just check, test the other one a second. Make sure it's the right height for the water. No, it's not. So glad I did that. So let's delete that one out and replace it. manually okay happy with that down to the height so we can get it underwater fine page down, sink it in, kick off, oil rigs are done. Uh, save, okay, file, save as, and check that we're saving it to the build save okay that's good it's oil rigs done so we need to finish the wall off and then do a trader before we do that I'll have a quick pause and have a sip of juice Iris said I'm in God mode. <laughs> okay, so now oh, we've lost the UI. How useful. Control Shift U. I'll bring the UI back. <coughs> there we are. Space and rocks. Rock. Take caps off. We're going to choose now to build the rest of this. That one there. Swing it around that way. Put it about there. 
properties that, like that five times bigger. Mm, don't like that one. Doesn't look good when it's big. That's better. Let's put that about there. Properties it. Make that five times bigger. Actually take that seven times bigger. Yeah, that's better. And move that forward. There. Just check that it's leveled up right. Bring over the top. I don't want to lose. Ha! <laughs> okay, so what we might do then is if we take that right across and away, and then we'll build the gap between the two a different way. Because we don't want to lose that location. Sink it in. Bring it towards me. Just losing rubbish piles there, that's fine, we don't mind that. And we just need to block up that gap. Something like that. All properties that. And that four times bigger. Okay. There and sink that in. Still got full access to the radar station. Military. Yeah, that tower's just a little bit out, but I don't care. That's I can live with that. We can what we can do is we can bring that one. Hi Snowwalker. We bring that one out here. Just clip it there. There we are. That should still mean that we've got access to that camp. We can't see underneath it. People can still have access to the camp. I'm hiding debug because for me the worst thing in the world is when you get to an edge of the map and the map looks amazing and then you get that so what I'm doing is I'm hiding it we put we built two oil rigs we're now hiding debug and then we're gonna build a trader and it's the same map that cookie and I play but this is gonna be for my server rather than the server we play on and I need to save that and we need to reopen it because it's not playing and it's my Pacific Northwest build open there we go everything's in place and we carry on working our way down right and this one matter that's just fields that doesn't matter it's all woods that's a military camp yeah go for it ask away Okay, that's fine. So we can take that right down now without worrying too much about what we're what we're losing. We might lose that one house. Anything important in there? No, it's just a dwelling. Okay. Can you group the objects on the right hand side? Yes. Yeah. As in, I could go. I I'll show you in a second because I I use it. But so what I do is once I've got a line that I want. I'm not like the oil rig, many objects. Yes, I can do the same thing, um, but I'm not brilliant with the editor. Um, so other people can group them and still swing them left and right. Whereas I'm like, mm, maybe not. I'm not yet there, but we've only got to build a little distance. So what I tend to do is get round objects doing one at a time. And then I go something like, we we'll go down to the bottom, take that, no. Why is it saying land roadblock? Uh, 
Okay. So we go. Dum, da, 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 da. We find something we want. So this one here, for sake of argument. Um, that's that one. We don't want that one. We actually want this one. So where's that one appearing on my list? If I highlight it, put it in there. I don't want it there, but that's fine. So, oh, because it's putting them together because of where they are on the map. Okay, that's interesting. Um, okay, so if we take, so let's get that one again. Find it. So I'm looking at one of these little dots. So that dot is. Oh, come on, game. Save. File open. Open. We'll try again. Pacific Northwest build. Open. Can be temperamental. So we go to land, 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 land. Past all that lot. Here we go. So that's that one. Okay, seems to have forgotten about these ones. Okay, we will do it a different way. Once I get past here, we'll build a new line. It'll be easier rather than try and show you that way. So we stick in the new one that we want there. Obviously, it's too small. So we properties that one. Didn't pick that up correctly. So we properties that one. Didn't pick it up correctly. Properties. There we go. And... I up its scale. Okay, that's not working. It's got the scale wrong on stuff at the moment. Urgh. Okay, let's try again. So we take that there. Properties that. Take that scale up to five times. No, on a bit bigger. Seven times, seven times is good. Okay, click OK. Now, where's it put that in? Right at the bottom, that's where I wanted it. Excellent. We're then going to move out into debug because it has to be within the trees from experience, it, otherwise, it won't spawn it in. So, it has to be within the map basically. Take it where we want it, about there, sink it in. Now we realise we might lose the house, but I'm willing to lose the house on that one. That's fine. So we've got now that one item. We come out here a bit, down here. Go down to it. So control C, click where we want it, control V. And same thing, get that lined up. Oh, if you got out of the map, it won't spawn. Yes. And if so, and what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to cover up outside of the map. And sync that in. I'm happy of how they sync. And then I'm going to go and copy the last two items. Control C, move along. Click where I want it, Control V. Get about there, sink it in a little bit. 
make sure that we're not destroying that plate. I think we just got that right. That was lucky. Control V, uh, yeah, Control V. Take it on to there. So we know it's gonna spawn because there's trees around it. And then that way, drop it into the earth. With page up and page down. Spin over the top. Okay, so that one there's just out on that corner. What is this? It's military. There's just crates in that corner. Can we live without a crate? Probably. But let's make sure that it's not half a crate showing inside the rock. There we go. Problem solved. You can delete objects, but I never have much luck with it. So that road's a bit of a problem but I can live with that. We're nearly, we're nearly finished on the road anyway. We're nearly finished on this. So, control V. Take that up to where we want it. about it for a while I'm going to bring it this way so it goes inside the other rock okay I'll come back and have a look once I've got down to the shoreline and then we'll have a play with just that area what we'll do is we'll if we delete that one delete that one oh come on game editor's not an exact science as you're seeing When it wants to play up, it really wants to play up. There we go. If we delete that one, we can then solve that at the end. exactly what I want but once I get it out then I can play with it a little bit no don't like that so I'm going to delete that yeah I'm going to delete that one as well I'm going to start here in Pick it up a little bit further and I realize people could swim round but you live with that now if we take 
the big one that's normally big. Uh, there we are. Doesn't look so big now, does it? And we property that and turn that up to five times. Bang. And sink that in. Ground perspective, fine. Okay, so let's go up to where we were going to, where we were looking at getting it around that military camp. Better. Give me something to work with now. That we need to keep that road in. Is that the only road to it? Yeah. Okay. one yes there is so we don't need to have that road working so we can use a bit of camouflage so if we take Is going to make more sense when I finished. We're going to use some camouflage techniques. So 
there's where the road goes. So now, might not work this bit it doesn't always do this right uh, align to surface yeah that doesn't really work so if we properties that I'll always use rocks. It's the easiest way of covering up debug for me. And I don't have a lot of time because this has to be ready to go by tomorrow evening. other side of the road will also hide the same way yeah that's my trouble with it I have to I, I have to cover up this thing I can't have debug showing it's my biggest problem in my life debug it's all right the chance of players. No one's going to have cars on our map anyway. Oh, I hate it. Fucking detest debug. Just fucking, yeah. Now I need to put something in to cover that off, but we need to do that bit there first. game don't crash on me there we go and um, we just need to cover up that and then we need to build a trader so this is easy traders harder uh, uh you big fucker like that bang there make it properties it turn it dump Mando, in every game, be they single player or multiplayer, I hate getting to the edge of the map and being able to see other bits that you're not allowed to go into or you can't go to. Or if you go there, the game crashes. I don't get it. Why you can't build something. You know, rocks. Put in minefields. You know, something that makes it there's a reason. Right then, so we've got our two oil rigs, we've got our basic wall. I need a, a trader location, and this I'm not sure on. This I have yet to work out. So. Yeah, can't stand it. Hate it. Just, ooh, just, yeah. Oh. Now I need to finish off that as well. Just. I 
always have hated it. I, the original uh, Far Cry One did it very well. You know, you had the big ocean, and then if you swam out too far, you were eaten by a shark or the attack helicopter that shot you. If a game that old could think of a way of dealing with it, yeah. Oh yeah, tickets. I've gone in. I, I'm on the map and I've lost everything. Where are you on the map? Just outside the woods. You're in debug. Oh well, yeah, I could get there. I built a base there and it's disappeared. It's in the rules not to build a base there. Yeah, but I don't read rules. It's like, uh, stop them going there in the first place. Oh, 100%. They always do, mate. They always do. Cookie, normally. Um, they'll always try it. Yeah, you can now. You couldn't before. Um, and I don't want to have shark patrol routes. It's another mod to add, and I don't want to add more mods than I have to, Snowwalker. Uh, hmm, what about the invisible wall? Um, I'm not a fan of of a boundary you run up to and it stops you dead and you can't see. You, you can see past it and you're trying to work out why. No, it's just, it's, to me, it's, if you're going to put an invisible wall, put a real one in. Um, I'm just not, yeah, it's just me. Some people love it. Some people are happy with it. I just think when you go to the trouble of building a map, you should finish off the map. Um, but this is a really easy map to work with. It's only it's a small map, which is why we're doing it in one evening. Uh, no, not what I want. Uh, As I have to be in a little lake with two, is a sign saying do not swim. Do not swim is good. <laughs> I just don't, I, this build is going to have enough mods as it is. I'm trying to limit what we're doing. And I don't have long to solve it. So I have to have this ready to go by. Yeah. So I'm going to put there. We're going to properties that. And we're going to bring that up to five. No, higher. So eight. No, lower. Seven. No, lower. Six. It's about right. Then we're going to take that across there. it's in the tree so it doesn't cause a problem ah yeah right down we go properties 5.8 6 5 it is sink that in I would post ticket posted as their ask for a mod to be removed. I get that at times. Could this mod be removed? Or last wipe we had, we hate running around the map, we want bicycles. So I put it to the vote. Um, people could vote yes or no to bicycles. 
and out and the yes vote won and only two people had a bicycle so they're not giving vehicles again Job done. Right then. So, now just to zoom up, just to see if I've not done anything stupid like left a gap. Okay, I need to solve that. Joy. Delete that one out. There's nothing important in there, is there? No. So, something like that. There, because that's quite level. What property is that? Stupid game, come on. Let me get access to you, thank you. And that five. Seven will work better on that one. I told them read rules and the 30 feet sign do not swim and run around. <laughs> yeah. The trouble is players and Mando, you and I are just as bad. You go onto a server and you try your hardest to get things to work your way, don't you? Yeah, and it's hard writing rules sometimes because what you and I might, you know, when you, you write the rules your way and think that makes perfect sense and then the next person reads them and interprets it completely differently. Yeah, I won't be adding it though. Not on this build. <laughs> Don't want to give myself problems. Okay, I'm going to live with that. No one's getting cars, so the chance of them actually weren't caring about that is nil. Is that still high enough? Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. That's okay. Yeah, that's why me and you are doing our own service. Yeah. Happy with that. For me, it started off as somewhere I can make content. Um, but I quite enjoy... I enjoy my traders. I enjoy what I can bring to a server with something a different build. I know I will. There you go. Okay, so I'm happy with that. Now, where the hell am I going to put the trader? So, this wipe, everyone's going to start off as prisoners. So, they're all going to start off inside that prison. Oh, that'll be the spawn points within the prison complex. And then, so I've got to have it over the other side. Like you making them stairs out of the pit, I would have made it deeper and left a sign at the bottom saying, 
Now you're tr fucked. Yeah. Don't really want to put it in a city. Difficult to find a place to put bloody traders on this map. No natural goblin trader hub. I need something that I can build that's got a natural one way in. And something I can easily build into two ways out three ways out you got the way that you came in but two different ways out and I don't really want to build it at sea because you always I always do that I can't build it on here for reasons to do with mods that I'm putting on I wonder, actually, we could have it on the civilian airfield, couldn't we? Which is over that way somewhere? Yeah, somewhere out here. Or just off the civilian airfield. Uh -huh. There's your shipping area. There's civilian. So civilian airfield's there. Is that civilian airfield or that racetrack? That's racetrack. There's civilian airfield. Even though it's militarised, but you know what I mean. So, we're not giving people helis or any of that jazz. So... No. Are you going to put map markers for them? Uh, okay, so the trader is a black market trader. We know we don't have a safe zone trader. Um, so the oil rigs aren't getting markers at all. Um, nothing on the map has a marker apart from the trader. Um, and that's the only marker we put on there that's available to players when they spawn in but anything else they need to find a map to be able to find to be able to use a map but it means that players can get to the trader if they're lucky um, and gear up or sell some shit See, that would work as a trader island, wouldn't it? Unless there's something underneath it. No. Just check, because you know what these map, map, map designers are like. I feel like I'm spawning people with cars and helis, but there's but they cost shit loads and that's that's fine mate that's how it should be if you're gonna in my head if you're gonna have them there should be a cost implication to it yeah you know you, you want a car or you want a heli to make your life easier there has to be some some reason to have it something that costs for it how many servers have you played and i've certainly played them where you can do a one loot run and you come away with enough money to buy a heli so everybody has them, and it's a waste of time. It just becomes a playground. It takes away that difficult bit of Daisy. I really don't know where to put the trader.
was so much easier on the other maps where you have ravines to play with. Twenty million for cars, sixty for a heli. <laughs> okay, so if we've got they spawn in the prison. I can't have a trader too close to an oil rig. That doesn't work. So if we go up this top corner somewhere, because that's a bitch to get through, because you'd have to come in through cover, because coming over this would be stupid. I'm not completely mean but this will be so much easier to build on because it's flat so can't be too close to housing because people will use that to their advantage what have we got here we've got oh we've got a military zone that I've managed to cover oh that's useful not radar station I thought I'd uh. so we can solve that now oh here we go uh. I mean one of those evenings I'm happy with suggestions. It, you'll, my trader hubs don't really work like that. There, there's, an, and it will make more sense when I build it. But if I don't delete this wall out and solve this now, I'll forget, and this will be okay. I'll, I'll try and explain. So what I do for trader is, I have a normal trader where you can go and do your normal trades, but for high value trades. I have a bunker room that has a that you need a swipe card to get into and then that allows you then to have high value weapon sales you can the trader will buy your weapons off you in that bunker room and then when the door opens the alarm goes because my trader is a black market people will hear the alarm and then there's once they're in there they're safe but when they exit they have three or four routes they can take out all of them with various levels of risk um, also my traders work with nails rather than currency and the only way of getting nails on the map on my maps or not the only way but you can't find boxes of nails in the world you get them from the trader by selling things um, so I want somewhere that I can just turn into it but what we've got to do is solve this problem first. So we can't have that there. I'm looking for the other dot. Yes, uh, sort of. Um, so my Chimsey trader um, was slightly done differently. I was going to do this on Chimsey, but uh, my players are getting bored of playing Chimsey. So that's why I'm giving them a new map to play. And because I'm not working this weekend, this seemed like the ideal opportunity. So somewhere like this would be for me probably where I'll end up building it because I've got a bit of terrain to work with. We can probably do something 
Oh, that's underground, isn't it? Yeah. There's a bunker complex. So it can't be there. Bloody dot. There? No. Nope. So this map is Pacific Northwest. They're currently on Chimsey. So Pacific Northwest, because the build is at a level now where, and they're still updating it, and it's at the right level that I think I can add people to it. We can give people an experience on it. But I've got quite a bit of work to do tomorrow to get it ready to go, which is why tonight I needed to do this bit. Because I could have just stuck in two oil rigs and built a trader, but and it would have been easy. Oh, we've got to find that rock. Uh, where was it? It was after the main bit. So you had main bit came to there. We then went through the two oil rigs. Are you using blackout on them bunkers? It has it already, mate. It's built in. Um, so I don't need to. Uh, it has three bunkers on here, and they're, they're they're all in. They're all blacked out. You need MVGs for them. Pass the two oil rigs. I agree. I'm with you on that. Uh, I don't really want to delete all that fucking wall that we finished. But I want the radar station in because obviously at a radar station it will have reasonable loot in it on here. Because this bloody map. Really hard to see where the little white dots are. To alter things. Oh, oh, oh. So that's that one. Okay. That's there. That's that one. So was it before we built the oil rigs? Looking good. There we go. Gone. Gone. Good. Solved. Did you not get key to play Grey Zone tonight? Oh, I'm too low down the pecking order for that. Um, 
I wish um, they they only offered it to what they're counting as VIPs and friends of VIPs and they've got a week to play and stream it and I've got 300 and something subs I'm far too low down the pecking far too low down the scale unfortunately I would have loved to have had access to stream that now like they are but it ain't gonna happen right let's delete that let's bring so we need to go in on the other side. Yeah, so I was watching Fresh Spawns play it. Um, so they they first of all did the first test, went out to like very, very, very important people, but they were all sort of X forces. Then they did another run of serving US Marines and Royal Marines and ex-members of SF of Australia, New Zealand, Great Britain that wanted to play it. Um, this run has all been massive streamers. Then we're going to have a break and then all of us, and then it will go into early access properly. Yeah, some people were just throwing out keys. I, I'm... I'm happy to... I'm just not playing the game, Mando. I'm just like, yeah, okay. When I get a chance, I'll play it. And I'll stream it. But I'm not... But I don't follow... very many of the big streamers. And the big streamers I do follow and, and have conversations with tends to be more map design people. Trying to get one, hoping I've got one later. Well, good luck, mate. Good luck. So if we bring that to there, and then we properties that, and take that up in size, to there, and then take that just inside the terrain there sink that in and hopefully we'll still see radar station in complete no so do. I don't mind losing one of the usual flips. That works. You see that building's quite tall. We can cover up that little bit there on the top with something else. Put one of them in like that. That hides that. Now we just need to join something to there. that do you get do you and that dirty red cookie get to play on freshman server on Saturday evening cookies away now uh, he's home tonight but watching the football and then he's off on holiday for a week so 
we won't be streaming together for another week and a half. Dirty red. <laughs> so the server that we normally play on, I went on today and sorted out the base. And I'll just pop on now and again over... The next week and a bit, just making sure the flag's up and a bit of tasking's done. The stuff that needs to happen. safe right now we've got to find somewhere to put our trader that isn't right next to a bloody bunker where they can get tier 4 gear uh, this map also has things like a built in 338 sniper as part of the map so I don't need to put any weapon packs in <laughs> Grey Zone will be amazing. Grey Zone Mafia will be amazing. I've been following it since day one. I don't have a key, so I can't stream it. Um, the guys that are streaming it at the moment, they only get to stream it for a week. Um, and then it will come off or make content for a week. Then it will come off while they do the final adjustments. And then it will go into early access. Um, but it does look amazing. Um, I've been really interested in it since day one. Ski resort. Can't do anything up there with the trader because Bigfoot. So I need a spot for trader. And I don't really want to build another island trader. But that might work. It's going to be far enough away from spawn. Nice and exposed. We could do something here, maybe. Got buildings I can use already, and then I just got to build the bunker. too many items placed on a map yeah you could um i don't think i would ever get to that limit if that makes sense um yeah 
I'm what we up to less than a thousand yeah 467 items I've placed in and I've seen I'm playing the server I'm playing on at the moment on this map and I'm playing on a PvP a, a hardcore PvP server they have like three four thousand it extra items placed in and it runs fine so no that's not good enough I need something that feels difficult that feels different I I like that island Because you'd have to swim out to it, which is going to be a bitch to start with. Obviously, we might need to build a way up to it. Just checking there's nothing in here that... No underground. No caves. Sure that's... Is that the way in? Yeah, so people come in there. Does feel quite weird, strange might be usable so we could have a trader on top of here somewhere that might work you know and then we could have an exit that would allow them to get over to this side we're far enough away from the start okay let's try that Let's go for that. So, start with castle. Because we and let's fortify this place a little bit. Build some towers looking out. We're going to do military or castle military. So. I want military towers. Uh, tower. What have we got to play with? I want that big Livonia tower. That's what I want. Give me a second. Let's see what it is. No idea. It's really small, isn't it? Ah, cable car -y stuff. Okay, that makes sense. So maybe it's barrack we want. Or guard. We've lost the UI. Bring that back. Uh, guard. Okay. Um. it's going to be called
they work. Not really what I wanted, but they do the job. So that's a possibility. There we are, land military control tower. That's what I wanted. So. Land military control. Right, where's the door? Start there and work from there. Okay. Pop do that. Thank you. Yeah, because I think of it as a Livonia Tower. I'm sure we've got all, all got our own names for things. will be Now I have noticed everything we know, mostly the name on, in editor it is not, yeah, it's, it's given the official name in editor, isn't it? with these aren't really to do much for me these are just to look good to look like there's some defense here because it's gonna be you're gonna have to swim around anyway then you have to come through here trader will be built in here Get something flat in so we've got the water below it and then we'll have an exit from trader that comes up out the back here there must be a way up the steps there multiple ways in isn't there so uh, 
lighthouse. Because everyone hates having a lighthouse. build trader so I'm going to do for our normal I'm going to go for castle castle war something like that about there properties it that one I need two I need two buildings and a well, that's fine. Hut 
scout hut. What's it called? Pioneer. But it's Camp Pioneer? No. So it's a hut that goes with that. Hut. Sure is the answer. Bit of time. Uh, it's not a barracks. It'll be a land. It'll be land something. might work. Hunting cabin. <laughs> yeah, there you go. That's what I wanted, because that's easier. Thank you. How did you know what I was looking for? Mm, cabin, maybe? have some other work to do in here once we've got this bit in this is the this is the it's all a black market trader but this part of the trader is the easy bit not easy it's not the right word but 
um, might be easier to go and find some. to find them when I survive. Um, oh, come on, you stupid game. Thank you. <sighs> yeah. It's the basic cabin most traders use. Camp house, house. See, that could work. Construction property, couldn't it? So it's nice and exposed. somewhere like that actually I quite like using that that land 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 construction I like that a lot actually. Construction, what was it? Land construction building. And where are the stairs? The stairs are that way. So something like we need a way out. So something like that bring that up there so then you can come up those stairs that gives you an entrance in we're going to block off some of this stuff like we'll put a wall over we'll put something over there blocking that in a little bit And then I can stick a trader upstairs, probably inside this room, if we block off that. And at least it gives you a little bit of cover when you're inside the building. So now if we go rock. Land camp house white if you need it. Thank you. Uh, rock. If we bring in something like I'm going to put that's too big. So castle again. I need to burn. I need a wall. Something that we can use to block off some of this stuff with that feels right. going to be too big. I don't know. Put that in there and sink it. Yeah, don't like that.
that's fine because the stairs are exposed which we you, you want don't you um, we're going to block off across there maybe I will do my favorite because everyone hates it on my servers swing round and cover that window instead. There's a little shooting hole through the top. That's blocked off there. Up the stairs. Nicely exposed there. And then into there you're exposed. And that's the one we want to block off so you're not exposed. So you've got to come through. Potentially contact until you're. a little bit of cover but not a lot that's fine right I'm going to leave the stream there because I'm tired um, I won't probably won't be streaming tomorrow night because I'll be building the server and finishing off a few little things that I don't want to give away until the server goes live I'm sure you'll understand but I will be streaming Saturday night. 
Um, so thank you for watching. Thank you for interacting. And I will see you all again soon.